Hi everyone, my name is Dina. I'm the Programs and Event Development Librarian for Bond Public Libraries, and today we'd like to show you how to make straw rockets. It's a simple, fun activity that we make in our STEAM camps all the time, and the kids love making them. You can easily make them with uh, supplies that you can find around your house. All you need to make a straw rocket are these things here. Some tape, a pair of scissors, a straw, and if you don't have one of these plastic disposable straws, um, that's fine. You can use a metal straw or uh, one of those harder plastic ones. Anything will work. Some paper, this here, and some crayons. We use our giant, giant crayon stash here. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to make a rocket. If you have a printer at home, you can download and print out this straw rocket template. It comes from buggyandbuddy.com and I'll put the link in the description uh, below this video so you can find it. Um, but if you don't, that's totally fine. It's also a lot of fun to just make your own rocket. So of course the first step is to color your rocket. I have one here that I made earlier with my daughter. She had a great time. I even let her cut it out, which is why there is so much tape. But the tape is actually very helpful because we were launching our straw rockets over the banister and outside and it helped it keep its shape and stay together a little bit longer. The most important part is this piece in the back here, and this is the little straw holder. And so the straw goes right in there, so you can launch your rocket. All you need to make a little straw holder is a little scrap piece of paper. And what I like to do is I roll it around my straw, so that way it's the right size and the right shape. So I just roll that around my straw, and I secure it with a piece of tape. Then I need to block one end of my little tube here. So I put a piece of tape over that as well. And I put another piece of tape in the opposite direction to secure it. So you see, nothing fancy. And then I tape that to the back of my rocket. And that's really all there is to it. Once you've done that, you can put your straw on your rocket and you can have fun launching them. And that's it. We like to take ours outside, and some of the things that you can talk about with your kids are that if you angle the straw in different ways, how does that affect the flight of your rocket? Does it make it go further, or does it make it go not so far? Um, if, you blow, if you blow softer, does that have a different effect? Is if you blow really, really hard, does that make it go further? Um, and something else we like to do is we experiment with putting different weights on the rocket. Sometimes we tape a little Cheerio to the end, or we bend up the wings to see if that makes the flight of our rocket any different. You can just experiment and have fun. And then of course, when the craft supplies are out, you never know what's, uh, what they're gonna make. For example, this right here, who knows? So just have fun with it and um, enjoy. Please take the time to check out some of our um, wonderful e-resources. Tumblebooks is a great thing that you can do with kids. And if you have your library card, it's all free. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time. Bye.